Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free here today. We're going to show off the Android 16 slash 17 and 18 exchange unit that is coming into the game. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hit that subscribe if you are new for more content that is not the correct team. There we go. So by the way, if you guys are interested in uh, the server that I'm using for today's video, you guys can check it out down below, courtesy of Hydros and his team. It is called Trident. And again, link will be down below so you guys can be able to showcase some of these units or play with these units early. And obviously, I'll be back doing my own summons later on, but I wanted to go ahead and kind of review the unit and see the unit in action. So for the first couple of minutes here, we're going to go ahead and just do a breakdown for the character. For the people that might not know exactly what the character does, so this is the new card. Like I said, Android 16 is not in the base card despite being in the art. It is literally only 17 and 18 outright and then they switch into literally only 16 so what i'm expecting this to work like is um well we have conditions that i'll kind of explain here so let me actually pull up the translations for you guys so the leader skill for this character is android category four key 150 across the board secondary extreme physical types four key 100 percent passive skill is Key plus one and attack and defense plus 78%. Medium chance to evade enemy attacks when HP is 66% or above. And Android category allies get two key and 40% attack. The 12 key super lowers attack and defense. Also the 18 key super lowers attack and defense. The condition to be able to exchange into just 16 is there are two conditions. Able to be used when HP is 66% or below, and there are two other, at least, Android category allies in your team. So yes, you need at least two other, meaning this card and two other ones. So also the other condition is or if there is an enemy present whose name contains cell excluding for cell juniors uh, This can be activated at any time. So turn one if you're versus a cell you can literally exchange <laughs> And then the exchange into 16 only lasts for three turns I'm assuming that actually counts the turn that he's not there So be very careful with that you get a powerful unit for a very short amount of time So you're gonna see 17 and 18 most of the time. So for 16 his 12 key greatly raises defense for one turn and lowers the enemy's attack and defense. 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn and also sacrifices 6% of your HP. Passive skill for 16, key plus 6, and a whopping 200% attack and defense. High chance to reform a critical hit and then performs an additional super attack if there is an android slash cell saga category enemy present. So for this whole run versus the cell boss, we are going to literally body him. <laughs> with 16 so I want to kind of we're gonna run it a couple of times I want to do one run where I focus mainly on uh, the non-exchange unit right but I also want to do a run where I can focus on 16 a little bit so we're gonna again we're gonna do multiple things and again if you guys would like to be able to use this and stuff like that check out Trident down below no I don't know no the uh, six item patch is not in the game yet officially that's part of Trident if you're looking at that okay so turn one look we're gonna be able to literally go but we're not going to but we can <laughs> All right, <laughs> we can do it, but we're not going to turn one. I want to. I want to see this unit in action a little bit here. All right. The good news is I don't have to worry about dipping below a certain threshold. This card also links very well with MVP 17. Do I think? Uh, okay. So here's the thing. Like you get access to an extra key per leader because it's four key, and this is their primary team. Obviously, they'll be good on the um, Cell Saga team, but this is their primary team. I love that. I love that so much. He just pats them on the back. Um, so yeah, just, you know, I want to kind of show them here a bit. They're, they, they seem kind of, I don't know, they're not like game-breaking, game-breakingly good, I'd say, when they're 17 and 18. But for the few turns he is 16, I, I think he's probably among the hardest hitters in the game just because 200 is such a profound bonus. And then the 18 key also boosts attack. And when he gets the additional, it will default to the 12 key super, because that's how they always work. But... Other than that, though, he'll still be able to benefit from a stronger 12 key than he would have had initially by doing the 18 key initially, if, assuming he got the 18 key, right? Um, so right here, I'll be able to do um, an attack with this unit. We'll actually attack here. It doesn't really matter what much what I do here. I, again, just want to show this unit off in its base. So even with the support, they're barely at about 100k defense, so it's not, it's not like crazy high, but that's just the courtesy of... Uh, you know the 78 or so percent but also you do factor in the attack and defense down primarily the attack down and then also the dodge so you have a really good defensive unit in this state okay so i think i think next turn i'll actually exchange the reason why is we'll also have attack support yeah i think i'll exchange next time 
And we'll be able to see a super pumped up. No, 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 no. I'll wait a little bit. I think I'll wait until, I don't know. Like I said, I'll run it a couple of times anyway so we can get a good kind of view of the unit. But I think I'll wait a little bit. Okay. We're taking a lot of attacks on 21 there. It would be really good if I was trying to get below the threshold, which I'm not. I feel like this is a prime time to do it, though. I feel like this is one of our best possible. Okay, we'll do it. Whatever. Oh, wow. That one actually is really high-quality audio. That one actually sounded really good. Okay, so he's at about 200,000 defense. Double support, by the way. This is not individualized. This is double support. Okay, so let's see how powerful the attacks that is, though. <laughs> he's going to do an additional super, by the way. So, all right, let's go. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's going to be pretty powerful. <laughs> hey, we have 17, 18, and 16 on one rotation. That's cool. 4.7. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> and then 2.7. And then the third attack. And all of his attacks are guaranteed crits. My God. <laughs> Wait, I I'm pretty sure. We'll double check here in just a moment. I'm pretty sure every single attack is by default going to be a, a guaranteed crit. But, yeah, that unit has an insane damage cap. When you factor in, he himself is an attack. Oh, no, 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 he's not an attack support outright. But when you factor in that, in that scenario, he was able to get access to from himself 200%, right? 200% is nuts. So I can actually hear. No, I. Okay, so it's a good thing we have two 17s, or uh, uh, two LRs, by the way. So I'm going to actually let this one kind of be its own thing for the rest of this video. And not give them any like support primarily, stuff like that. And just kind of show that card in its regular state. So we can kind of double up. So that way I don't necessarily need to run it twice. But I still kind of will. But we can kind of see this card again in its natural state. But this card, again, is more of a defensive card outright. And also the support. Can't forget the support because the support is going to allow for androids, which is one of the more tanky teams, to be a better defense-oriented team when they have access to all this support that they have. So, for the record, though, I do want to take a moment here and just kind of double check. So, 16, um, high chance to perform a crit. High chance. Okay. Yeah. He's pretty much going to get it most of the time. <laughs> high chance. He's going to get it most of the time. Oh, my God. He's going he's gonna to body this guy. He is going to annihilate. So, it, when he... Okay. I'm going to let him... I don't know. I'm going to put 17 in the front. I want to make sure I get max key. The yeah, stats here. And let's go. Yeah, they're going to annihilate Cell. Also, do keep in mind that this is actually a 150 attack leader. So I think for the second run, I think for the second run, I will switch my own leader to just 17 instead of the LR. But I'll still take the friend, so it's going to be a little better. But I want to have two LRs still. That's the whole reason why I'm not going to take double uh, 17 leads. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right. Knock it off. That's enough. We, you, we've seen enough of that. You've done enough. All right. Cool. Well... I'm going to put Int in the front. Give this one this attack. And that should do it for this round. Because <laughs> this LR should body here too. Their own support. I figured they'd be a super. Their own support and then also the Android 18 support. 92 damage. Great job, Cell. You really accomplished something, man. Great job. All right. Oh, the defense down. So, 3 billion. Okay. So, this unit, again, they're mainly a 
defensive card, I'd say, in their regular state, right? And the good news is, on an Android team, even if you can't, even if you don't, if you're like not versus a cell, because you can only automatically exchange versus cell. But as soon as you dip below 66%, you can go full offense. Like their offense jumps so much when they switch with just 16, which is actually really cool as a callback to the actual show in the fight whenever 16 actually finally steps up, right? Because <laughs> the whole time he's like, nah, I'm only gonna fight Goku. Um, is this gonna load? I was gonna say. So yeah, it's cool to have the flexibility of being able to do that, I'd say. So there's that. Uh, let me run this again. Yeah, I, I, I could, I could, okay, okay, okay. I'll take, I'll take a 17. I know I said I wouldn't do this, but I, I actually am very curious about the overall peak of the card offensively. I feel like in the previous, cause we had two of them. Oh, I could actually take the, you'd probably revert back to normal, which is funny. Um, I feel like we had enough of a showing for the card between the two leads. To where we know like how the other card is too like the other card is solid i'd say i don't think that they're like best lr in the game level i don't even think they're really particularly that close outright but the flexibility of being able to go into 16 is pretty nice but you have to also consider that like the only time that the three turn limit is really 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 relevant is versus like the infinite dragon ball history or like legendary goku type of events versus anything else three turns should be enough right all right, so they are in the sixth spot. They'll come in with, wow, double support already. My God, do I want to show them with double support? I could do it, turn one. <laughs> I, want to, I want to show 16 with no support though, because I actually didn't really do that. <laughs> but I want to see that peak though. I'm so conflicted, because I'm several turns out from being able to do that. Okay, we'll, we'll do it then, and then we'll just reset and do it one more time and try to get 60 with no support. Because I really want to show multiple scenarios. So I'm going to exchange, quit the stage, and then we'll come back in. All right. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen the Int Gohan Showcase, um, be sure to check that out. Link will be down below where the man is finally walking. Finally. <laughs> Two years later. So, All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Double support. We're good. I can't. I couldn't help it, man. I couldn't help it. I have to do it. I feel obligated. I have to do it. The only downside is we have some links here, but I feel like we probably could get better set up. And also, this OST is fire too. I like it. All right, let's do some stuff. I like how Cell can't be stunned. By the way, that's pretty cheap. That's pretty neat. Um. All right, so for you, we're going to attack the Incel Jr. We're going to get that additional super, which is going to be pretty nice. All right. The defense actually isn't as high as it would be with 17, of course, as you would expect, because his defensive support passive. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, as soon as we see this turn go through, I'm going to quit, and we'll come back in for one final run. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. That guy's pretty good. Definitely worth owning if you like the Android team. And again, on the Cell Saga team, the only downside of the Cell Saga is it forces you to at least run one more Android there. Because him and Cell, you have to run at least one more. You have to have two other than the LR. And then it's also as Android-specific support. So you're going to need to pretty much leave it on rotation. And it doesn't link well enough with Cell to let Cell be on rotation with it. So you pretty much need to... What you would have to do is run a Shocking Speed unit or something like that alongside it. Something like uh, in, in LR Gohan would work. But his downside is he doesn't have defense. That's, okay, I'm not going to get into the rant about the Cell Saga. Um, because I can I can literally just kind of talk about holes in that team for a while. All right, let's run it one more time here. Should have dropped the supports off, to be honest, so it's a little quicker, but we're good. All right, let's see here. Boom. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, 51,000. Nice. All right. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Nice. I can actually... Okay, so he has defensive support here. I don't, I don't mind defensive support. So I'll do it here. Okay, so what's going to happen is... The attack supporters are out of the way. So the defense will be spiked a bit. But again, this is a unit with 200% defense anyway. It's going to tank anything. I really want to show without attack support. So this actually lined up perfectly for us. Only way this could really be any better is if I had legendary power. But I don't really care about that. <laughs> so yeah, this is perfect. Oh, we, we can actually get legendary power. Okay, I thought that was the other cell for a second. All right, yeah, we can do it. Um, I'll put you in the front. Because I don't think you'll one-shot. Hopefully not. Don't do not do any weird stuff like additional super crits or anything like that. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was the other cell for a second. Okay. So 4.4 automatic. 4.4 with the uh, obvious additional and high chance to crit. Say so if he didn't if he didn't one shot here, he was gonna do additional super, could have crit on that, then could have potentially done a third attack. So yeah. He's really good. <laughs> I am impressed with him. Again, I'm not so impressed with the regular card, but I'm impressed with him. The regular card seems more to me like it'd be a floater, to be honest. I'm, if I'm being 100 percent honest, because of the support part, I'd I'd probably be inclined to do that. But I know for a fact. The Android team really needs more units like that, so I wouldn't actually do it on the Android team. But I feel like if we get more offensive options, like in a year or two, then I'm, I'd, I'd, just, I'd probably I'd probably consider it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but overall, though, the, the card is 100% worth owning. I think so. I think it's a very good card. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you are new. Be sure to check out the videos down below. If you enjoyed the thumbnails on the left, make sure you check those out down below. Looking at you, Haruhime. Anyways, have an awesome day, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.